I'm not sure where my other camera is. So I'm back to the flip again. I haven't made a video for two days. Camera is gone. I'll exit. Oh, thanks. Strange. But anyway, I'm here at Lynch Canyon again. Sergio, who's over there. We're gonna try and find the one that we tried to find last week that didn't find. But more cows are in the way. We'll see how it goes. We're walking up to the cows and hopefully they'll leave us alone. Hopefully. I'll just stay right there and not do anything. It's okay, Sergio's big. <laughs> I'll stay behind Sergio. <laughs> They're just happy to eat grass. They're like, it's too hot to chase people. <laughs> yeah, looks like they're gonna leave us alone. Good. Yeah. It's up there on top of that hill. And there's a snake here. I don't think he's a dangerous snake. They lost him now. Where'd he go? I don't know where he is. Anyway, I have to climb up this hill. It's pretty steep. We have made it to the top. Yes. A little, little trail down there is where All we started from. All for this. All for that little <laughs> tiny thing. Nice view up here though. You can see all the hills. And actually, way over there on that ridge, those little trees is where the last two in the park are. And that's like three hills over. So that'll be a long walk. I kind of want to go up on top of that hill just to see the view from over there. But anyway, found it. Not first to find, second to find, like two weeks after it published. So, anyway. Made it. We started out over the top of this hill, and I was looking at my topo maps. It's hard to see. Whoa, bucks. Anyway. <laughs> uh, just following the topo maps, I can figure out... Um, which path to take, which has the least amount of elevation change. And uh, I couldn't see this area here, but I saw them on the map this would be the best way to go. And if you look, it goes down on that side. It's kind of a hill, and it goes down on that side. And we came down this hill, lined up right with this little hill in the middle. So it takes us the... Uh, we keep our maximum elevation. Like we have to go down to get to the next hill, but this is the highest path of land to it. So we're not climbing down and then having to climb up again. We can stay as high as possible. That's what topographical maps are good for, if you know how to read them, which I do. So it makes our hike easier Instead of going up and down and up and down, I just can stay pretty even. Go up and down just a little bit. Okay. Bye. We are now in those trees that I was looking at earlier, which were very far away. We found the cache, so just putting it back. This is one that we have looked for before and didn't find, but it's such a long hike out here. We've been hiking two hours already. Oh, wow. Started it, well you, yeah it was about 10 when we started. And it's noon now, so about two hours, and if you look way over there. Wait, where is it? Oh, up there. Freeway. Freeway's up there. So we've hiked, yeah, pretty far. And there's still one more, and it's in those trees way over there. So we need to go to that one now. I'll show you a view of Vallejo. It's the city of Vallejo over there. And if you just turn a little bit, there's Napa. 
There's where all the cows are hanging out. Good, they can stay over there. <laughs> so this tree is where the, uh, the last cache in the park is that we haven't found yet. But it's a big tree and I think it's somewhere hanging in the in the branches, but it's too many branches to look at. It hasn't been found since 2010. So it's been two years. There have been two people who have tried since then and it hasn't been found by them, so. I don't know if we're gonna find it or not. It's the last one in the park and we're so far away. You can't even see the freeway or the parking lot or anything. But anyway. We're gonna look for a little while, but I'm getting hungry. So, we'll see. Walking along the trail, trying not to disturb the cows. There's a bunch of cows over there. Whoa, lizard. They look fine just sitting there. Walking back, the breeze feels nice. Tired, and earlier we were way up there, on top of that hill, looking out over the city, and looking back down at this trail. And then we walked really, really far, and now we're coming back. We've got about half a mile left to go, back to the parking lot. Then we go get lunch. There's the parking lot and a whole bunch more cows than earlier. They'll be okay. We'll just walk by them. So we made it home a while ago. We went to Hot Diggity Dog for lunch. Had a root beer float, which was amazing. They uh, and they were pretty cool about it because like you know some of the ice cream melted into the root beer, so I you know. I drank that, but I still had a chunk of ice cream at the bottom. So I went back up to the counter and asked them if they could uh, refill the root beer, which they did three times until I was out of uh, ice cream. So that was cool. That was really good. Good and refreshing after a long hike. It was really hot. My legs really, really were itching a lot. Hello, cat. Because uh, tall grass, walking through tall grass. But uh, anyway, yeah, my legs are like all red and itching a lot. So, oh, I think that's Jerry. I heard, I heard Jerry. Yes, it's most definitely Jerry. We are going to ride to Berkeley. Go to Fat Slice to get some pizza. What's he honking for? <laughs> yep, he's here. Anyway. of the restaurant and eat. Oh. Oh, they, got, they got chairs back there, but the main part, you just kind of stand here and observe. I can just set this here. There's bound to be something interesting happening in Berkeley. You can see me in the reflection.
Turn that off. So it looks like I just put it there.